Hello, it's Lion here with Hobbies Man. Once again, and today we're going to be doing another Kaiju number eight chapter review. Today we're going to be looking at chapter 78. Now, um, there's no news today, so I don't have anything to say for this segment. So let's move on to the review and discussion. So um, it's really not much I can really say. It was a battle chapter. So um, besides very minimal kind of uh, world building slash character building through the um, dialogue of some characters, there really isn't too much going on except the fact that uh, Kikoru is getting mollywopped uh, across the field, right? So that's just kind of what's going on. But if we look a little bit deeper into what is being said and how things are happening, um, I think there is a little bit to say here. So uh, let's start off with the general kind of idea of the chapter. So it starts off right after the end of chapter 77. Kikoru is facing off against Kaiju number 15, which um, if you guys don't remember, is the Kaiju that looks exactly like Kikoru, but is kind of like the dark version of her. And also the Kaiju that looks like um, some sort of ballerina with a giant brain. Um, and so this character is clearly supposed to be the antithesis to Kikoru. And so, um, it's very interesting to have them uh, facing off like this, right? Kikoru then reiterates that, you know, no one is here besides her, that she has to deal with things herself right now, right here. You know, there is nothing else that matters. She has to beat this kaiju. So she powers up, she gets prepared, and they start battling. And the kaiju actually happens to kind of know her and, and, and understand her. And so the kaiju continues to kind of goad her to kind of tell her, hey, I'm impressed that you're able to do this. You're kind of a weakling. And, you know, she says a bunch of stuff like this, which only makes Kikoru angrier. Um, but Kikoru isn't really letting herself get, like, uh, goaded correctly. So um, she's still kind of in control. And the thing is that um, while this is happening, we have the, the guys, uh, you know, back at home base that are kind of analyzing the situation. And basically it's like, Kikoru is getting more powerful by the second. However, um, she's not actually able to battle this kaiju at the, the same level. So Kikoru is so powerful. She's going to definitely be better than Isao, Narumi, Hoshina, Mina, any of them. Uh, and she will probably be the cornerstone of the JDF, uh, you know, kaiju defense force after all of those people retire. She's gonna be the, the top dog in the near future. However, right now in this moment, none of that matters because she is getting trounced, I think is the, is the, is the word that they use in the, in the, in the chapter, uh, by this kaiju. She's getting destroyed left and right. And uh, Kikoru uh, understands this and she's trying to fight back regardless of that fact. Um, but the chapter actually ends with the kaiju using their skills, I guess they have telepathy, which kind of fits the, the, the brain design, to create a giant axe that is comparable or actually much bigger than Kikoru's, but it's kind of the, the dark side of Kikoru, right? And it's preparing this, uh, this, uh, this axe, and it's basically saying, you know, this is where it ends for you. And the chapter ends, and it was a really satisfying chapter. It was very hype, but um, it hasn't really, I don't know, like it, like it, it, it um, it didn't really offer anything new. Like, yes, the, the, the fight against this kaiju was new, but um, it hasn't really developed much uh, else. And it feels like we're, we're retreading stuff too much, too often in this part of the story. So I think um, right now is the right time to go back and start rereading everything again and start developing, you know, reviews for those parts of the story. Um, while I, I wait for more chapters of this to, to kind of develop so that I can uh, read all of it in one go after I do all of my reviews and, and kind of develop a better sense of the feeling that I'm supposed to be getting out of this because, uh, you know, the wait time makes it so that each chapter kind of feels like um, like nothing much happened. And at this point, I think it's just the... the I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting used to the story and the fact that we're not really focusing on Kafka right now is kind of making it a little bit less interesting to me. And so that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. But I still love this story. I, feel, I still think it's really awesome. And I actually really, really like this chapter. I thought it was a good fight. However, um, lately I'm just kind of like not feeling like reading weekly. So that's just kind of how it is. That's also why this uh, review was a week older or, or it came out a week later than it really should have. So yeah, that's all I have to say about Kaiju number eight, chapter 78. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And thank you guys so much for watching. 
See you guys later.